Uh, we got a controversy right off the bat. Yeah, Barack Obama is bashing Kanye West. Okay, so <laughs> all this time you didn't do anything against the Republicans, okay? And you let him go, and you let him slide on the public option, and all the death panels and stuff like that. And the one guy you got to hit is Kanye West. So that's how you're gonna do, huh? It's it's funny. It's funny because everyone's making a big deal about it, and it's really not that big of a deal. So there was an off-the-record portion of his interview with CNBC leaked. Uh, apparently an ABC reporter tweeted out what Obama said um, about Kanye West, and it turned into a big media uproar. And we have an uproar. We, we have do. an uproar. We also have audio of this. Okay, now, first the ABC guy does that. Now, But it was off-the-record, so he shouldn't have. Right. So then he erase this tweet mm -hmm. okay which is funny uh, but then TMZ got a hold of the audio anyway right so let's uh, listen into what the president said well your girls as hacked off as mine were that Kanye gave <laughs> Taylor Swift the Joe Wilson treatment I thought that was really inappropriate yeah. you know I mean it's like she's getting an award what are you button in I, I, I hear you I, I agree with you <laughs> I, would, I hope I. Uh, that counts as the first question. That, <laughs> the young lady seems like a perfectly nice person. She's getting her award. What's he doing Why would up he there? Do that? He's a jackass. <laughs> no, no. This, all this stuff. I'm assuming all this stuff. Where's the pool? Come on, guys. Let, cut the president some slack. I got a lot of other stuff on my plate. Yeah, because I remember last time there was the fly thing. That was the highlight of. Uh, <laughs> now that worked out well for you. That was. Uh, you were a ninja. Except Peter. And Reggie, uh, Reggie has the plot released in about seven minutes. <laughs> yeah. Oh God, the rest of that was so boring. Okay. Yeah, don't care. Like the rest of that conversation was a snooze fest. Uh, but okay, first of all, obviously controversy, controversy. Right. What do I? We got a controversy over here. Uh, he called Kanye West the jackass. <gasps> No! Now, here's the thing. It is going to be entirely uncontroversial because who's going to be upset at that? No right. one's going to be no upset one. at that. Everybody's going to be in favor of that, right? right? Now, if he'd called like a country star a jackass, then you know what the Republicans would have done. Yeah, they would have like, panicked, yeah. And, no, and they would have made it racial, right. and they'd be like, oh, yeah, of course! There you go, supporting, you know, the. Oh, my God, imagine if he'd supported a, a black singer over a white singer. Mm -hmm. Now, he's, he's supporting the white singer over the black singer, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not like that, right? It's, there's nothing to it that's racial or anything like that. But you know they would have gone in that direction. Mm -hmm. Okay, so anyway, so now you're not pissing off, like, what, the Taylor Swift fans. You're not pissing off Republicans. You're not pissing off Democrats. Who are you pissing off? Kanye West supporters? Maybe. I don't know. I, I, I honestly didn't really care. So he said he said Kanye West is a jackass. Okay, whatever, fine. Anna, we have a national controversy. How could you not care? <laughs> All right, so the bottom line for me is I think it plays really well for him. I mean, look, if you're going to look at the political side of this, I know it's goofy, okay? But uh, he seems like he's calling a guy a jackass, but he's doing it off the record. But it's leaked, so everybody gives him credit for it, but he doesn't seem impolite. He yeah. doesn't seem rude. So he gets none of the downside of it. You see what I'm saying? Well played, Barack. Well played. Okay. And the rest of the conversation was, of course, about how he swatted the fly, and he's right. like, don't leak this. But in fact, as the guy said, you seem like a ninja, he said. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. He's like, you were great. And he's like, oh, not with PETA, la, la, la. And then, but the reason I bring all that up is because no matter what the president says, even if he's a Republican or a Democrat, Every single thing has to be greeted by <laughs> the president. He's so funny. Can, can people crawl up out of his ass for a second? No, I mean, he, I mean, he's the president. If there's <laughs> anyone that you should suck up to, it's the president. Uh, yeah, no, not buying it. I think you would suck up to the president a little bit. Me? No, hell no. I'd be like, yeah, whatever, Brock, okay? <laughs> be cool, be cool. Hold on, man. I'm doing a show. I'll get to you. Right. All right. Look, I, be respectful, but you don't have to laugh at everything he says is like the world's greatest joke. Right. You see what I'm saying? That's why I'm afraid that he might begin to exist in that whole bubble where everything he does, you know, he has yes sayers around him saying, oh, you're doing a great job. You're doing a great job. So he never has any real criticism. And the only criticism he sees are the lunatics out there, you know, with yeah. the, ah, oh, you're from Kenya. Ah, right. Marxist. And so you're right, that might get, into, get him to a point where he thinks, all right, well, if 
those that's my opposition I must be right, right and everybody else around me tells me I'm right and that's a problem for a president mm -hmm. because I think that there are some things of course that he needs some work on Barack call me Australian Europe